Hi, it's me with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Earlier today, I used this graphic for a new series because uh, I never have used uh, Corel Funnel Paint. I went a little further than I should have on this, but I I thought I'd use it for future if I ever do anymore. So I embellished it a little bit, making the board look thick and uh, vectorizing the colors. And so I thought I'd just kind of show you. It's pretty cool. You can see it's a bitmap or because uh, the bounding box when you move it. So I've reduced it in size and I'm going to set my nudge factor on six. And I'm going to go and trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. And it does it really quick and it does it really good. And I'm going to move it over. Now you can see all the Everything's gone. I'm gonna use green this time because of the fact that it's almost uh, same color and you can see all the backgrounds are gone. But then we can embellish this and change the colors and make it look better even though it's now a vector. The main thing I wanna do is seal up this line between there. I shouldn't have made on the one I did, I made the paintbrush the same color. You know, wish I hadn't, but I want to join everything together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a duplicate of it and move it over. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to left click, right click. Now, as always, if you get the shape tool, the shape tool will not work because of the fact that this is all one group. So I'm going to group and ungroup it. Then the shape tool will work and I can get these nodes and bring them over. Uh, this time, I'm, I'm going to leave the, the paintbrush uh, a different color. And that's good enough for the video. I would maybe take away that node and then uh, take this node and maybe move the handles around, make it a little bit more like a thumb. And I'm actually going to leave the spaces between there. But now, and you can see that some of the color uh, lost their border when we traced it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that with the shape tool, shape or pick tool and I'm going to go to effects and I'm contour just so happen I didn't have to change it. Maybe it's a little bit thicker than it needs to be but it's fine so I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to get the smart fill tool and fill in. I'm going to make it the same color. So I'm going to actually take my pick and I'm going to go right there. I'm going to make that all yellow. See that way the background is yellow. Now I can go back to the pick tool and we're going to get black. If black doesn't show up, you need to hit it right there and do this. And then I'm going to put black borders around each color. But the main reason for the video is I'm going to make, make the board look a little thicker than just a, a board. I'm going to go ahead and make the paintbrush black. We'll make a, the cap of the paintbrush, maybe a dark gray. And then we'll go ahead and get red and we'll put red there. And then we'll put red there. And if you want those same colors, just use the, the, the um, color eyedropper and just take some color swats. These are actually, well, they're not Corel colors anymore. Um, that one's black. I'm going to change it to some other color. Um, maybe that's why I didn't trace. So maybe we'll use a, a purple. Yeah, we got a purple right there. Let's make it a, a yellow. Go up here. Well, let's just go back to the color swat and let's make it that orange. Now, what I did to embellish it, I, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm actually going to move it out of the way. And then I'm going to take away the, the fill and add an outline. And then I'm going to put it back, but I'm going to leave it off center. So then I'm going to take another color that's a little bit darker than the, the original. And I'm going to make it that brown so it really stands out. And then you can see the lines. But if we now, if we select it all and left click, no outline, look how the board is now m much more three dimensional. And I'm going to, 
I'll keep this for future if I make more videos on photo paint. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.